Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market prep video for the last day of March, last trading day of March, 2021. So good morning, everyone. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Markets were a little bit mixed. We had a little bit of back and forth. It's like we're fighting for some momentum to get moving. And this morning we have a little bit of a pause showing up here in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our chairs, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Yesterday was kind of an interesting day where we had uh, the Dow was trying to continue to show bullishness, trying to push up, but we struggled a little bit. We just seemed to be struggling with a little bit of a, a lack of overall momentum. However, there's nothing wrong with that just because we have rallied so much so fast um perking up that a little bit of rest was probably due for the market if we take a look at the dow dow overall if i draw my trend here really good shape holding up very strong overall if i draw my trend here still very good shape and it is due after rising so fast um, in three days that maybe a little rest or consolidation uh, needed to come into play. So not a big surprise there. I don't think there's anything to worry about here on the Dow. The Dow itself looking very, very bullish. If we take a look at the SPY, maybe a tiny little bit more concern here on the SPY. Um, notice if I draw that trend kind of like I did on the Dow back here, we did fail that trend. But, you know, if you take a look at this chart, we're in pretty darn good shape, breaking back above that resistance level right there. And we're just kind of holding a marking time here at the moment, watching that closely. We still have rising lows here. And although that we're resting, I don't see any major problems here. However, we still have that slight concern. We need to be able to break through that resistance up there. If this were to fail here, you can see that could create that lower high. And if we were to fail here and drop, then there would be some technical technical damage showing up in the chart. But for now, I think we're in pretty good shape on the SPY. Our problem continues to remain in the NASDAQ. And this morning, uh, there's additional pressures here showing up in the NASDAQ as those bonds continue to tenaciously hold on 10 year bonds at 1.73%. They just don't seem to want to um, back away. And then we're hearing about an infrastructure bill today that's going to raise corporate income taxes to 28% if passed. And as you can see, we're still struggling in this downtrend. Now this morning we're trying to get a little bit of buying coming in here. Um, on that QQQ, trying to lift it just slightly. Remember, we need to get out of that downtrend. We're holding this little higher low, that's good, but we still have this light downtrend that we're trying to, to break from. If that were to fail up here and make a new low, that's where we're going to have our problem. But if we can break through, and maybe prove to hold that higher low in there, hey, we may start clearing some of these resistance levels. Keep in mind that our 50-day moving average is still um, a problem here. We're still underneath that 50. Our short-term averages continue to weigh on that. And notice that that 50-day is flattening out, and we really are at risk of that starting to roll over here soon if we can't get her going. Uh, to the upside here pretty soon. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at IWM, IWM um, had a pretty good day yesterday, bouncing nicely. We're continuing to hold this price support in IWM, and that's a nice thing to see um, that hanging in there. We've kind of slipped out from underneath this little downtrend here just a little bit yesterday, and we're trying, trying, trying this morning to follow through just a little tiny bit this morning heading into that ADP jobs report, but we still have these resistance levels. We've got a lot of price resistance in this chart that we need to overcome. So there's still a little bit of concern here. Helping yesterday was the fact that the financials, XLF, really tried to grab on and hold. We had that um, uh, worry about major, 
major bank losses um, due to that failure of a hedge fund, but they have managed that pretty well. And we're holding up um, nicely here in those financial sectors. And that's certainly helping IWM. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, our doggone VIX um, is just kind of whipping around um, this level in here. Notice that we Oh, we're scared. No, we're not so scared. Yep, yep, we are scared. No, we're not scared. Yeah, we, we're we back and forth whipping this market like crazy. And um, I've been getting lots and lots of emails and, and reports from folks that they're really struggling in this market because of this wild price action. Um, if we can get the market to calm down, that would be a good thing for us if we could calm some of this wild volatility. But let's keep a close eye here on the VIX. We really want to see that VIX dropping down here into the teens, failing at a lower high. As we're trying to push to new highs in the market, we shouldn't be seeing the VIX this elevated. And if you're an option trader, you certainly noticed that uh, problem with the really wide bid ask spreads and the challenging price action in that option market right now. So we need that to settle down. So hopefully we can do that. What we don't wanna see, um, unless you're a bear, uh, in the market. We don't want to see us holding this level in here, spiking up, starting to set higher lows as we continue to uh, just get more and more concerned about inflation here lately. Let's take a look at our T2122, um, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And if we take a look at that, notice that we've been doing quite a little bit of bouncing around in here and we're holding kind of in this mid range. So we're right here centered around this mid range. And what that tells us with T2122, it really doesn't give us market direction. It just tells us when we're overbought or we're kind of oversold in a short term. And so just kind of hovering around here in the mid, we really are in a situation where um, if those bulls can find something to um, to gain some energy on, we could push right on up, back up into this area. And if those bears get a hold of something that they can hold on to, we could push down in this area. So no real clues here on T2122. We're in that, that uncertain zone here um, on that um, index. So keep a, keep a close eye on this. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And um, our economic calendar has a few things today that could really move the market around. Now, first thing this morning, before the market opens here, and actually before you watch this video, we're going to get the um, ADP report likely. And um, it'll be one of those numbers that can move the market around significantly. So let's keep a close eye on that ADP number. We've got the Chicago PMI and pending home sales that can have an effect and one of the bigger ones of the day is going to be this petroleum status and that's going to be important we've seen that energy sector starting to soften up just a little bit and if the petroleum status comes in um, showing a build in supplies that could be a problem if we can show a decline in supplies then that could bolster that energy sector and try to boost us back up just a little bit, helping us to hold on. So watch those numbers closely. ADP probably going to be um, the most watched number this morning. And keep in mind that that just begins the rest of the week with jobs data. We're going to be hitting out here tomorrow with the jobless claims. We've got a busy day tomorrow. And then I'd like to point out that we've got the employment situation number on Friday. And remember, guys, that we've got a market shutdown for the Good Friday holiday. So keep that in mind. We could quickly begin to see volumes um, uh, move away as people try to extend their holiday here. So watch that closely as we move through the rest of the week. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is, is one of our busiest days today. We've got over a hundred companies on the um, earnings calendar, but uh, the great, uh, the majority of them are not confirmed reports. They haven't confirmed that they're going to actually um, report their results. So 
Um, I did pull out some notables this morning. Uh, WBA, we'll want to keep an eye on this. Looks like WBA is perking up this morning. We must have had a good report here. This is the pre-market candle trying to perk up here. So WBA looking very, very good in this upside trend. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, this afternoon, we'll want to keep an eye on um, MU. MU um, has been trying to push through this resistance high and struggling here. Notice we're setting right Right on a price support so it's going to be critical on how this reports its earnings whether or not we're going to run up here and make another shot at breaking out or if we really start to slip and break down so keep a close eye on MU this afternoon um, other stocks that you may want to keep an eye on GES GES will be reporting today. Notice that GES has been in this short-term pullback. We've started to struggle here on these little retailers just a little bit and uh, it's starting to show a little bit of pressure that we could drop below some significant support in that chart. So keep an eye on that. Um, AYI will be reporting today. Um, um, this has been in a beautiful upside trend, very, very strong, and was uh, trending strong into its earnings report. So keep an eye on that today. Um, CONN is another that we'll want to be keeping an eye on today. And there are a few others on that notable list. If you want to get the full list of notables, make sure you click that um, link right underneath the uh, title of the video and that will get you um, to back to the blog and you can get the full list of those notable reports so with that everyone how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me that favor and click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and remember um, please feel free to share this video out on any of your social feeds it helps the channel to continue to grow and i truly truly appreciate those who take the time to do that. Also click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. And I apologize guys, I haven't been able to really answer those comments the last couple of days. We've been conducting an open house in hit run candlesticks and right way options um, uh, Monday and Tuesday. And so I've just been extremely busy, but, um, uh, and we uh, will be concluding that today. So we have one more day of our open house uh, finishing up this quarter. So if you if you're available, come on over to the Right Way Options trading room today. See what we do over there. Um, you may find um, some good information. We're doing a lot of training over there for folks. And um, come on over and take a look at us. Um, let's jump into some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember, guys, they're not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. They are um, um, uh, something for you to look at, place on your watch list, and you should never, ever blindly follow someone else's trades. Let's take a look at CBX here. I put an alert on CBX yesterday, and I got to say the overall energy sector I'm watching kind of closely. Notice the CVX broke this really long downtrend here in um, the chart, and we're holding that trend as support in here. So we're getting this nice little resting consolidation in here. And if we can hold this little trend that I've marked in, I'm watching for that opportunity to maybe this to start perking up in this area and taking off. And I gotta tell you, the overall energy sector, um, XLE, um, is showing that same kind of um, situation. So CVX may not be um, the perfect trade. There could be others that really do well today. We'll want to watch that petroleum status number today because that could really send some signals here to move back into that energy. Notice this big downtrend break in energy and we've pulled back and we're holding this uptrend we're right at that point where if we can get that inspiration here we could see some buying coming into that sector so watch that pretty carefully i'm also going to re-mention the financial sector the financial sector we had that little bit of scare with um, that failing um, hedge fund but I guess most of the U.S. banks um, work themselves out of that early enough that no major damage there. But keep an eye on this chart. Notice how XLF is holding in here 
on um, price support. We've rallied back up. Now we had that little bit of scare where we failed price support, but we've rallied back up and now we're resting right in that area. So watch that closely. If we can get some bullish um, um, action coming into the market, that could perk up and that's gonna help the rest of the market. So keep an eye on that. Financials holding in there pretty pretty strong. And you could look at a lot of different companies like BAC, um, whoops, BAC, BAC looking good, holding up strong. Citibank holding up strong. Goldman Sachs holding in there pretty darn strong. WFC um, in that list holding up pretty well. So these financials doing pretty darn good. Keep a close eye on those. Um, I'm also going to mention Constellation Brands. Now Constellation Brands pulled back a little bit yesterday, but notice what we've done here is we've broken back through this resistance and now we're starting to calm down a little bit. We're trying to hold this level in here. Now these big dividend payers have been where the money's at here lately and these old conservative consumer defensive companies has, have been really, really strong here recently. So watch this. If we can continue this little consolidation, if I draw a trend through here and kind of look at this area right here as maybe an outlier, um, take a look if we just rest over here toward that trend, we have a great opportunity in this chart to maybe push on through to new highs. So keep a close eye on that. As you guys know, I mentioned DD um, the last couple of days and I'm gonna keep that on the list. There's that pattern again where we break back above that um, support area, we're holding it as support, we're kind of resting in here, looking for that inspiration to maybe move higher, keep an eye on DD. I'm also going to mention L, uh, Lowe's here. This is Lowe's Corp, not Lowe's the lumber yard, but LOW doing pretty well. Notice we're spiking up this morning here on that chart, breaking through my alert. I was hoping this would rest over here to trend. And by the way, it still could, even though we're popping this morning, this could pull back um, and still hold in this trend before it really goes. But keep a close eye on that. That's a good looking chart, uh, very strong trend. Um, one that, that you would certainly want to keep an eye on. Take a look at Mosaic. Mosaic is one I've been watching, but I got to tell you, I'm watching this more on the weekly chart than anything else, that longer term position. Notice we're holding this nice trend. We broke through this major resistance area in the chart, and now we're just kind of resting up here. So I'll be watching Mosaic as we bounce around in here. Hopefully this price action actually tightens up a little bit. Give me a little tight consolidation in here, and then that opportunity to pop on up. Kind of like this right here, where we broke through this resistance in the chart, rested here for several weeks, and then pop. That's what I'm looking for over here in that trade. And I gotta tell you guys, that trade has been working out really good on these defensive sector stocks. Here's my trade in 3M that I'm currently holding. We're now five weeks into this upside move with no pressure on that trade. Sometimes guys, slowing down your trading um, is the best move. And when we've got whippy volatile markets like this, I gotta tell you, I've really been enjoying these um, little bit longer term positions um, doing very, very well. So keep a close eye on those. Um, may find something in there that could be helpful to you. Then let's take a look at CMCSA. Now Comcast has been struggling here a little bit and I was watching this for a potential break to the upside. Now we've kind of faltered here. Now Comcast is going to have to get back up into this area and hold to get back into my good graces because what we actually have going on here now is the potential setup for a short trade. Notice that we've made this lower high and now we're just kind of failing um, right along that support area. So as we rest in here, watch for that kick in of some additional sellers. There could be some shorts coming up in um, Comcast, so watch that closely. Let's take a look at um, KHC. KHC is one uh, stock that I've been holding. I'm continuing to hold this trade. We're getting this little resting pullback right now. I am actually holding this based on this weekly chart. Look at how easy that trade has been to make really good money in. Up about 40% in this trade now so far. And take a look at this chart on the daily. 
nice strong upside move we're getting this little rest and consolidation in here if that slides back here toward trend watch for that next opportunity to the upside again consumer defensive packaged foods very very strong in this market so there's a few stocks for you to take a look at for today maybe put on your list hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day remember we've got um, the president coming out today to unveil his um, infrastructure plan that's over $2 trillion of additional money printing that we're going to do. But um, he is also including in that apparently a um, corporate tax increase to 28%. That may be one of the reasons why the market has just kind of halted here this morning and just kind of weighing the, the risks of that. So keep a close eye on that news report today as well. Everyone have a great day. I wish you all the best and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all great success today.